Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Michel Kiriak, je suis un scientifique et un chercheur en nutrition cellulaire. Ma motivation principale de faire des recherches, c'était une perte de grand nombre de membres de ma famille immédiate. À partir de 1973, j'ai commencé à faire des recherches préliminaires pour pouvoir concevoir un produit qui a un effet positif sur le métabolisme cellulaire. C'était les algues que j'ai choisi pour, pour leur pouvoir et pouvoir, pour leur richesse nutritionnelle, pour leur membrane cellulaire. En, en 1973, c'était les, les, les premières recherches avec plusieurs euh, types d'algues, avec des centaines de types de spiruline. Et on s'était arrêté sur deux types de spiruline, dont la saline et la staxanthine. Les recherches sont faites sur euh, plusieurs millions d'animaux. Les conclusions, c'était que les biwalks concentrés, ils ont un effet positif fort sur la régénération. Et voilà, en 1986, le concept est déjà été prêt. Et par hasard, par une catastrophe de Tchernobyl, on a eu la possibilité ou l'opportunité de l'utiliser sur euh, les personnes affectées de la radiation. La conclusion, c'était la même. Une forte régénération des cellules affectées. Aujourd'hui, j'ai dédié de, de consacrer toute ma vie, de promouvoir les biwalks concentrés, d'éduquer le monde comment il faut utiliser ce concept, concept pour pouvoir euh, éviter, pour pouvoir prévenir plusieurs malaises de notre organisme. Alors, je vous invite à utiliser les biwalks concentrés Donnez-nous des nouvelles, écoutez votre organisme et j'attends toujours qu'est-ce que vous en pensez de Pival Concentré. Merci beaucoup. It was 1949. Michael Kariak's mother, Stefana, was horribly worried for the whole family. Her father had just died young of pancreatic cancer. Eleven years earlier, the same cancer had claimed the life of a son. Her fears for her family, born and unborn, stemmed from a series of frequent tragic deaths due to pancreatic cancer. This kind of genetic weakness often decimated families in the region. In August of 1964, Ignat Kariak, Michael's father, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and died a few months later at the age of 65. His own father had also died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 45. It seemed that nothing could be done. The disease was sudden, and death rapid. Tragedy again struck the Kariak family in 1977. Michael's firstborn son Julian fell ill and died within four months. They discovered he had systemic endocrine cancer. His brother Basil was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and died. Then, in 1984, Michael's mother Stefana was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and tragically succumbed to the disease. Several years later, his oldest sister, friend, and second mother, Eugenia, was also diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Her death was devastating. Michael Kiriak was destined to finally stop the tragedies for his family and hundreds of other families. Tremendous emotional pain, heartache, and frustration left him determined to find solutions and propelled him to dedicate his life to research. His magnificent story and findings follows. In the 1970s, the Soviet Union was experiencing serious problems with diseases in their livestock populations. The problems were so severe as to threaten the entire food supply of the country. The Soviet government mandated that universities and research centers conduct research to solve the problem. In 1973, a young Michael Kariak had just graduated from the University of Moldova with a degree in biology and cellular nutrition. During his time at the university, he had focused studying natural versus allopathic medicine. There, he researched microalgae, tiny organisms that spread out over most of the Earth's biomass and contain more nutrition per ounce than any other food. 
He had realized early on that these miniature factories that turn out amazing amounts of nutrients, such as vitamins, minerals, protein, and enzymes, were a solution to health problems. Because of his innovative approach to health, he was selected by the Moldova Academy of Sciences, where he was assigned to various research projects in the region. He and a small team of researchers began to test various types of algae with many species of animals. They were intrigued by some results the Japanese scientists were having with algae, particularly chlorella. This is what pushed them to investigate many other algae, including 60 types of blue-green algae, like spirulina. Unlike chlorella, the cell wall of spirulina is made of soft lipids and is easily assimilated by most species, including humans. Following this breakthrough, for the next several years, the team continued experimenting with hundreds of families and strains of algae. They were making significant progress, but frustratingly, not sufficient to prevent cancers, which was their goal. By 1978, the researchers had also developed advanced hydroponic growing processes and methods. One of these innovative methods was the use of bioreactors that enabled them to control and enhance the nutrients of the microalgae in powerful ways. These bioreactors were covered facilities housing man-made lagoons or lakes in which they could control temperature, movement, and nutrients, protecting the algae from airborne pollutants, too much sunlight, or ocean mercury. These bioreactors allowed for the discovery of many new processes and techniques for growing algae, sometimes almost by accident. They made significant progress testing hundreds of algae blends, and by then they were able to prevent many diseases, including cancers, in over 20 species of animals. By 1984, they had selected the best combination of algae with extraordinary nutritional value and antioxidant protections hundreds of times more powerful than vitamin E or vitamin C. More importantly, besides preventing diseases, they had now achieved significant gain in animal productivity. The team continued to experiment with ways to speed up the healing process and to achieve their goals with cancers. In total, over 1,000 algae were investigated. By 1984, they had achieved goals and results beyond their wildest dreams. They confirmed that the algae blend was able to prevent and stop the progress of cancers in all the animal groups tested. In 1985, after the concept was complete and validated, Dr. Karyak was invited to join the Ministry of Agriculture as Chief of the Nutrition Sciences Department. He was asked to accelerate his research for application to the agriculture industry, specifically livestock. Housing and research facilities were established for 600 workers and 200 researchers. The research center hosted up to 1.5 million egg-laying chickens in several buildings surrounding the main research facility, each building holding 75,000 chickens. Over the years, the project was able to achieve astounding animal health. The poultry achieved 100% prevention of the Mara cancer, with 50% of the newly healed animals returning to lay eggs again. All this was achieved without the help of antibiotics, growth hormones, or other artificial means. This farm gained an overall 20% in productivity as demonstrated by less disease, larger and leaner animals, larger eggs with stronger shells because of more calcium, increased number of eggs per year by 18%, increased survival of newborn chicks by 8%, increased egg-laying period by 30%, in 1985, Dr. Kiriak was nominated Person of the Year in his home state for his contribution to research and the local economy. The Prime Minister of Moldova recognized Dr. Kiriak on national television. In 1986, Dr. Kiriak and his team were about to move to even larger trials when the Soviet Union experienced the worst nuclear disaster in history, the Chernobyl nuclear explosion of Reactor 1. At least 160,000 children and 146,000 adults were victims of radiation poisoning, including thousands of deaths, birth defects, leukemia, cancer, thyroid disease, and degeneration of spinal fluids, liver, and bone marrow. Because of the results that Dr. Kiriak and his team had been having, 
and because it was natural and safe to assist some victims suffering from radiations. Major health improvements were observed in many of the people fed the bioalgae. Typical results included a normalization of the cell counts in cases of leukemia in less than 21 days, strong regeneration of bone marrow, spinal fluids, blood, and liver, reduction in children's urine radioactivity levels by 50% within 20 days. Many recoveries were observed demonstrating the resilience of children. Some experienced renewed health, even when the disease was so advanced that their eyeballs were bulging out of their sockets. Today, many are alive because of bioalgae concentrates. 